How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? And welcome to a brand new episode of Strictly Nintendo, where we are going to take a look at the Wii U exclusive Bayonetta 2. There's a disruption in the balance between the worlds of light, darkness, and chaos. As this eerie reality sets in, all Paradiso breaks loose. Jean and Bayonetta team up in triumphant battle against their angelic foe. But this victory is short-lived when a summon turns on Bayonetta. In the process of saving her life, Jean in turn loses her own. And as Bayonetta watches the soul of her friend get dragged to hell, she now knows what she needs to do. And that's kick down the gates of hell, traverse Inferno, and save her fellow Umbra Witch. With the help of her demon friend Rodan to stave off the condemnation of Jean's soul, Bayonetta learns that the only way to get to the gates of hell is through the mountain Fimbleventer, which her friend Enzo so graciously agrees to take her there in his airplane. As Bayonetta makes her way to the mountain, she runs into her old friend, investigative journalist extraordinaire, Luca, who's hot on the story of the disruption and the balance of the worlds, and he reveals that it just might have something to do with Bayonetta's destruction of the last Lumen Sage. Bayonetta also comes across a strange boy with magical powers by the name of Loki, who like Bayonetta once was, is stricken with amnesia. Unsure of his past and who he really is, but plagued with the urgency that he too must make it to the infamous Thimbleventer. When Bayonetta discovers that the angels and demons that she comes across along the way are not seeking her, but seeking Loki, they decide to team up and assist each other in their journey to Fimbleventer. And that is where the greatest plot twist of all comes into play. I have to get to that mountain! Shit! What was that? And these are the intertwining stories of Bayonetta 2. The rush to save Jean. The war to remedy the unbalance. The struggle to discover Loki's past and unlock his destiny. And the intrigue to uncover who this mighty warrior is and what they want with Loki. Now could there be more? Well that's for you to discover. <laughs> Now the graphics are exactly what you would expect from an evolution of a franchise. They're cleaner, more detailed, better models, better textures, smoother animations, and the colors really pop. They're much more vibrant and it gives you a great sense of a wider, deeper, richer color palette. Overall, this game has a real sense of depth and dimension to it and the graphics drive home that impact of space and atmosphere in the environments. Now the audio is equally as impressive, clean, detailed, very well done, very professional from the music to the sound effects and the voiceovers. It really gives an impact to enhance the gaming experience. And you have control over the levels of all three of these aspects so you can get the right mix to enhance the experience that you want to have when playing the game. But the most impressive technical aspect in Bayonetta 2 is the improvement in the controls. The original game had good controls, but they were a little loose. In Bayonetta 2, they are precise, tight, and responsive. They are perfect. You can nail beautiful combo after beautiful combo, switch between your weapon sets instantly, pull off all the punishment, torture attacks, gigaton multipliers and megaton multipliers, your umbrum climaxes, your beautiful evades, everything precisely, it's like butter, and it's gorgeous, and that's important with this type of game because Bayonetta 2 really pushes the limits of timing. But just because it's easier to pull off strings of combos and get all those megaton and gigaton multipliers, don't think that this game is going to take it easy on you, because it won't. It's all about timing, and that seamless transition and those evades from real time to which time? are going to be your best friend, so you better hone your skills. 
Now Bayonetta 2 supports the Classic Controller, the Pro Controller, and the Gamepad. It utilizes the Gamepad's second screen for off-TV play, as well as touch controls. Now Bayonetta 2 to me is the type of game that really benefits from a classic gaming experience, so I enjoyed using the Pro Controller. However, I did not expect to like using the touch controls as much as I did. They really offer a unique enhancement to the overall gameplay, and they change your perspective of how you interact with the game. It's just, it's something that is really surprising, and I highly recommend that you give them a try. Now use the stylus to move Bayonetta throughout the world and interact with objects and items as well as engage in combat, and you might be surprised how fluidly and naturally you're able to pull off some amazing combinations when engaging in battle. Now if you find that traversing the environments with the analog sticks are what you really enjoy, but however you really like the unique engagement of the touch controls in battle, well, when you have the touch controls active, so are the classic controls. So you can seamlessly switch from using the A, B, X, Y, and analog sticks and digital pad to using the touch controls, and that really does offer an even further enhancement of how you interact with the game. Now while Bayonetta 2 has a great storyline, don't think the game ends with the campaign. There's plenty to keep you coming back. Whether it's going to Rodan's shop to collect all the items, weapons, and fighting moves, replaying the levels to collect all the Angelic Hem gold LPs to trade to Rodan for the even more powerful weapons, which, by the way, we finally get to see how he creates those, to unlocking concept art, 3D models, bonus videos, the game's soundtrack, Jean as a playable character, the extra costumes, and the Nintendo franchise theme costumes. And there's Tag Climax. What is that? Well, it's a new way to experience Bayonetta with family and friends, an online multiplayer. And the only way to unlock the Tag Climax levels is through the rating and reward system of the campaign. And if that wasn't enough for you, Bayonetta 2 also includes a copy of the original game remastered for the Wii U with new exclusive features and enhancements. Now above all else, the thing I love the most about this game is that they did not try and reinvent Bayonetta. They just took the core, they improved it, and they refined it. This game can stand on its own, and it has enough backstory in it that if you did not play the original game, you're going to be up to date and know what's going on. However, if you did play the original game, you're going to be that much more familiar, that much more at home, and you're really going to be enthralled in the continuation. This is the pure definition of what a sequel should be. Everything that we loved about the original game is still there. All the reoccurring characters maintain their personality, and that core formula is ever-present. From the violence and gore, to the vulgarity, the sexual innuendo and suggestive imagery, the humor, the epic battles, the torture and punishment, the gigaton and megaton multipliers, the dynamic between Cereza and the child, and my personal favorite, the arcade elements. Nintendo made a brilliant decision in white knighting this project, and all the talented individuals over at Platinum did a phenomenal job at evolving the original formula. The first game introduced the characters and laid out the story. The second game expanded upon that, refined it, and laid down a very solid foundation, one that I hope supports growth, because I want more. Being a demon lets me read minds. You're thinking, shut up and take my halos. I do hope that Nintendo helps Platinum Games nurture this into the amazing franchise that it should be. Hands down without a doubt, Bayonetta 2 is a must-own for your Wii U library. It's a game that I highly recommend. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And that will do it for this episode of Strictly Nintendo. Don't forget to leave a like rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care.